once again, welcome to some mental Valley Railroad. We are today. Come well. Can I speak? Jesus. Okay. Um, I took a little bit of a power nap before this session, or before the stream. Sorry. Uh, kind of dazed and confused, but I should clear out soon. I hope. <laughs> You'll uh, be fine. Yes, absolutely. Anyways, that's Mr. Shared Ice, of course. Hello, hello. Hello. So yeah, today I'm gonna see if I can tackle session number 16 and 17. So to say, to be done with this. <laughs> is it a Shared Ice in the back? Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you mean, the back? Well, I mean, if I lower your volume, you're gonna be sounding like you're in the back. <laughs> this session will clear up your mind, in mind at least. Okay, uh, I'm scared now. Anyways, session number sixteen: switching the harbor. Sort and switch out a recently arrived freight train in the industrial district around the new Starport Harbor. Well, that sounds like a headache and a half. So, in other words, what you're saying is that I'm going to be done with the stream around 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully. But if you will, <laughs> I mean, I would hate for it to go longer than that. Yeah. That wouldn't exactly be enjoyable, would it? <laughs> Important. No, it's not. Okay, it is. Howdy! We've got a local coming in, and it's your job to switch it out in the harbor. Load and unload all the train cars at the proper places. You will need to switch all the junctions manually, and you may pass through signals displaying the danger aspect with caution. Alright. Uh, sure. Back in these bad boys. Mm -hmm. If my mouse would work better, that would be absolutely amazing. No job is so important, say... no service so urgent that we cannot take time to perform all work safely. I was hoping it would say that we cannot perform all the paperwork beforehand or something. <laughs> <laughs> Kanga says. Around there, yeah. Depending on your time zone, of course. Yeah. Well, the biggest slowdown is going to be me driving stuff. Which um, is the entire duration of the day, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, looking at that harbor is just fucking massive. It's ridiculously big. <laughs> and to think that I have to build something like this on Central Europe as well. Well, it's. I think that the fog makes it look a bit bigger than it is. Slightly. Oh boy. Is that the train? That is the train. Kanga says, yeah, SW10's interior wasn't changed, apart from the exterior texture, just so it matches. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, I like that. Looks really good when stuff like that matches up. Yeah. I mean, with stuff like that, like, you, it, it's expected, so you don't even notice that it's that it's a thing that it matches up, but you would definitely notice if it didn't match up. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, in game it's roughly the same time as it is for you IRL. Yeah, almost. 
on like five minutes discrepancy. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll know exactly just how fucking bad I am. All right, let's get to it. Kanga says, yeah, I'd imagine a lot of people playing trains may not even know interiors are generally different models than exteriors at all. Hmm. Uh, do I get to choose which end I couple to? I guess I do. Yeah. Do it however you like. Oh boy. The entrance to the harbor is on this side, so might as well. Push it out and then go down the normal way. It's no objective, which I'm surprised, but I'm guessing it's going to er, appear the moment I couple. <laughs> Okay, the bell is being annoying, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Commodity overlays. Always visible. <laughs> I'm going to make my life easier. Oh gosh, the entrance to the harbor is just so far away. Yeah, it's, I mean, you've got to go a long ways. You've got to go quite far down to to get onto that level, so... Yeah. King Finger says, in uh, parentheses, Kid Johnson's voice, Here at Milton Valley Railroad, we do all our shunting moves ourselves. No hand-holding. Well, I mean, they, they do use knuckle couplers, though. Oh my gosh, do they? Oh, no. Yes, I know. <laughs> I had the same reaction when I first found out as well. <laughs> okay. No, that was... <laughs> Kanga says knuckle poggers. On some European train car models, uh, you get a little worker at standing at the end of the train. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you would have that IRL, but, but yeah. not here. Yeah. I, s I suppose maybe you could have something like that if you had the worker as a rail car that's coupled to the front, but then you would have issues as well with that. Yeah. The way it works on um, the European models is that it's depending on the train heading. Mm. So if you reverse the heading to be you know, green arrow over here at the end of the train, then the worker appears. Yeah, I mean it's like it's similar to on some cars that have the thread. Yeah. Don't mind the truck just appearing out of nowhere by the bridge there. No, of course not. It's not haunted. Or something like that. No. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> and neither is session number 12. No, absolutely not. Session 12, like... I feel like there was supposed to be some kind of a second ghost as well. I've only seen the big spider. <laughs> but I haven't like when you are stopped at the red light the creepy aspect mm. there that, like that I feel like there was supposed to be something somewhere but I didn't see it well there might be a reason why the dog's on the caravan 
Yeah, okay, fair enough. I've, I found, I've, I've noticed that, I was like, huh, interesting, but I didn't see anything around that. Hmm. Might have to revisit and explore. Oh yeah, spoilers for session 12, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean spoilers? The video is already out. <laughs> Alright, uh, general gooks are over there. Uh, that's sugar, that's lumber, that's probably cement. Yes, that's coal cars and that's grain. What's the layout? Tango says, Tango says, spoilers for those who've not watched the video and intend to play it for themselves. Yeah. That's well then, what are those people doing watching the stream? <laughs> or watching the replay of the stream. <gasps> replay? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it this way. Unload grain. And we're gonna hop over here, load the coal. Nah, that's gonna be fun. I'm not doing the lumber, but I can work with that. It's okay. And run around through this. Oh, it's not a circle here directly yet. It's does it loop around? Oh, it loops around that way. Oh, I see. Yeah, it would be nice if you could change the like if if the the nav markers, the additional text that was displayed. If that was dependent on the camera position or the cursor position as mm. opposed to the train's position. I guess. Alright, this will bring me back here. Good. So what's the first thing? Grain! That's at the end of the train, isn't it? Yes. Right? I love that you're taking the caboose along for the ride as well. It, was, it got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like there's a purpose-built caboose track right next to where the train parked or anything. Well, that would require me to actually understand the layout design. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not! <laughs> In that case, you should be. Uh... <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> oh my god, speeder. It's gonna be nice and easy. Right? Yeah. What else have we got wrong? <laughs> look, look at Kango's last message. Spider? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, not a speeder, but a speeder. <laughs> <laughs> VGR is here. Hello, VGR. Oh, hello, VGR. Welcome. Welcome to my pathetic attempts at shunting. I hope you will enjoy. These are some pretty long grain hoppers, not gonna lie. Yep. And there's three of them as well. Furious typing. Yeah. <laughs> Paradise and the Fury of Typing. A new movie coming out next year. <laughs> Alright. The first thing I'm... This is so interesting. Just squeezing in between the trailers through here. Just. <laughs> wow. Truly interesting design. I would have never made it like this. Is that a ladder? That's a ladder. That's a very wonky ladder. 
I don't like that ladder. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, load coal. It's gonna be fun. DGR says, "Eh, I've seen worse," and probably in, in reply to your shunting attempt. Ah, uh, yes, that that absolutely fills me with confidence. Mhm. Mm Fast and furious, Lee typing says Kanga. Fast and furious, Lee typing. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying a lad. Carrying a ladder. A? Carrying a ladder. Like it's an A frame. Like it's a like it's the yeah. shape of an A. Like, yeah, yeah I, I get it. <laughs> I'm just mm. all, I'm just uh, joking around. <laughs> Come on, just pull it a little bit further. Come on, can do it. I don't like the lumber unload, but I know exactly how I'm going to approach it. Good, good, good. I like the fact that there's just this little drawbridge over here. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It fits so well. It's really good. A lot of barges, and I have never seen this barge before. I'm gonna yoink it for some sure of many. I have to. Because <laughs> uh, the harbor is probably one of the few things that I'm gonna be working on next, actually. I'm in that stage of the route now. Yeah, good. I'm glad you're making progress. Yeah. One thing I absolutely am not looking forward to is the city. Yeah. Should I base it off of Berlin, Frankfurt, Munich or what? Because <laughs> it's gonna mm. be horrendous nonetheless. I would say Nuremberg. You sort of want to kill me. <laughs> oh, look at that no. perfect stop. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the cement unload over there. Uh, I don't like it either, but I know exactly how I'm going to approach it as well. Which means I'm not going to approach it now. I'm going to approach it later. I know exactly how I'm going to approach it. Procrastination. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Said me yesterday. <laughs> Alright, sugar goes there, general goods there. It's gonna be easier to unload now. Got the book Kango... of the stuff, so that's fun. Kango says, Großflächige Wasserkohlenlore. What? Großflächige Wasserkohlenlore. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Großflächig means to have a large area. Uh -huh. And then was is of course water. Kohlen is coal. And Lore is like a, a gondola or a, a, a loading vessel like that. Uh -huh. So a large area water coal gondola or water, go water coal, uh, I guess. Okay. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Vijar says. Is oh, Vijar says cooking a JLTV here, as I just found out how to rip models from GTA Five mods. Ah, wonderful. Leave it to the Romanian to steal stuff. <laughs> hmm. Kango says, Slovak Eagle. Loaf of Nuremberg, slice of Aachen, with just a little bit of Essen dressing. <laughs> Essen dressing. <laughs> Hello, vehicle. Your hill have to stop. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> actually, you could... Actually, um... You could base the city of Stuttgart and then have that ridiculously long walkway up to the station, like the elevated walkway. 
You know what? I'm not even going to try and Google it. <laughs> it feels like you're walking, like up to a parking garage or something, but like it it come it starts down in a park, and then it like spirals up and then crosses like at like roof level, goes over well through some like residential uh, over some streets and then past a little industrial thing and then connects up to the, the high level of the station and there's this really wide covered walkway it feels like you're going to a parking garage oh you bastard what do you mean those flat cars are supposed to be there oh you double bastard <laughs> oh, you didn't even see the flat cars <laughs> I did see the flat cars. I was like, bastard. I saw the hopper, I was like, double bastard. Oh. <laughs> Triple yeah, bastard, today. of course. Hey, thank you for this one at least. I hope, I surely hope nothing will spawn there. Right, um. Don't worry, life level's above zero. Uh, what? Oi! <laughs> What do you mean, likelihood is above zero? I don't know, I said light level is above oh, zero. Oh, light level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is even better now. <laughs> likelihood is above zero? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> You know what? While I'm here, actually, let's do it like this. VGR says that he's also mounting an R an armor three turret, armor three turrets on it. Of course. Makes and absolute Kango, sense. And Kango wishes VGR good luck with that. Yep. Fair enough. <laughs> By the way, do you like the name of the sugar receiver? Jolly Mobster Candy Company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and of course, you've got the black cars outside. Yeah. That's blue. Well, that one, yeah, but the, that, but that one's the boss's car. <laughs> ah, yes, blue boss. Yeah. Right, where do I throw this car to? Um, hmm. If I were a Sheridan, I would absolutely want to hate the player, so therefore I'm gonna hate myself and I'm gonna... What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> nah, it's a joking. That's, that's not conducive to, to making sales. I don't know, people... I, I think people like the whatever you built here no i meant if the developer of a, of, of a product hates the the uh customer that's not conducive to making sales oh you say that <laughs> do you say something differently yes <laughs> okay explain uh no hmm i see <laughs> Very convincing argument there. I know, right? Hmm. So, so convincing. Right, will I need these cars again? Doesn't say. Alright then. Let's play with Pyre. Hmm. 
It's at 70 minutes. We've been at this for 30. Can you not? You bastard! Gosh darn it. Okay, I did not save at all. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. Oops. Can I just quickly say that this cup of breakage rule is the only reason why I always repeat a session? It's the reason why session 7, I think it was, or 9, not sure, uh, took me 7 tries. I think I mentioned it in the description of them. Mm. Uh. Oh boy, okay. I mean, you can use the the debug tools to fast forward to get back to the point if you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Technically speaking, there's nothing saying I have to wait here. Other than the I mean, point. <laughs> other than the thing that specifically says wait and big, with a big hand symbol. Ah, no, it moves with me! It moves with me! <laughs> Therefore, yeah, I am course. still waiting. <laughs> sure. You cannot prove me otherwise, sir, dice. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kanga posts a link to an image with oh, no. the no uh, Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof, where he's drawn in orange the walkway that you oh that, that you one go to the station. Oh gosh, isn't that ridiculous? It feels much longer than it looks on that image. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> I did see it, yeah. I've seen it now as well. Did you see the text on the building roof? One second. Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof Eingang, you mean? Yeah. I did see that. Beneath. On the actual roof. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eagle. Yeah. On the, the image Kanga posted. Underneath the Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof Eingang label can put on there. There's also some text on the the roof <laughs> of the building. That's Hello, in. Slovak Eagle. <laughs> Hello, Kango. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! Hi, Distra. Given in the smallest images, why not? <laughs> they will stop. Sure, they will. They did already. Oh gosh, this thing is... Oh, suddenly there's a 15. What?
Don't do that again. God damn it. There's a bot. It is going to be a painful stream. Kango falls metaphorically in chat. Oh no. But why? Why would he do that? There's no reason to. Kang says, from the shock. Shock! No, don't do that. And VGR gives us permission to laugh at him. Mm. Are you f- Thanks. <laughs> Well, yeah. I was already coupled. Oh, that's unusual. I don't think I've ever had that happen. No, me neither. That's uh, that's why it got me so uh, unexpectedly. <laughs> I guess this. I guess the game really wants you to succeed at this session, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. VGR says, um, because I literally just deleted the entire armature of that JL TV. And then Kang says, no, warum? Probably, I'm not sure if that's because of VGR's mishap or Eagle's mishap. Or maybe both. both. <laughs> Derailment, slack alignment collision. <laughs> Slack alignment collision. Kanga meant you, Eagle. Yeah, of course. The gentlest of high fives. Oh god, yeah, you can see it just warp. Oh yeah. That's scary. Mm-hmm. Hey one, left the thing it's about to get started. Yeah. Okay. Initial attempt was good. So let's copy it until I get to that small yard again. 
and then it's going to be painful. Oh no, I'm speeding. Whatever shall I do? Was that what I think it was? A car going by outside? Oh, you've done yeah. it as well! It wasn't just me on Northwestern logging that I've done this, you did it as well! Cross over like so... that to get into a... area, I see. <laughs> Am I close to junction yet? No. Hmm. As it stands so far, I've wasted 40 minutes, essentially half of the session. Well, we had fun. Yeah. Switch the junction. Yes. <laughs> so, Kango says, It is strongly implied that I proceed with caution. I shall therefore proceed with intense regularity. <laughs> and save, save, save! This Kango. And then quotes, apply the brakes, not too much, <laughs> from the uh, DTG train sim, or train sim world trailer, or whatever yeah. it is. And then BGR says, eh, whatever, I just have to realign the turret hole on the roof. And then Kang says, ah, oh, okay. And the VGR says, which is easy, because it's literally above the rear seats. Good. Is there more? Any more chat? Yes. TSM 2017 trailer. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> is there any more chat? Yes. <laughs> Apparently there is. Wow. slow down if the train feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I have no incentive to slow down. Oh! I wanted to slightly readjust the camera, and I forgot that I still have the debug mode enabled. <laughs> yeah, that happens to me too sometimes. breaks <clears throat> not anymore there ain't says Kango mm. so that's a double negative <laughs> cool. 
call them what you wish, but I shall never call them bricks. Says Gango. Apart from that time. <laughs> <laughs> So big. No, I refuse. No. Oh no, how dare you! <laughs> Don't mind me just looking at the absolute brilliance that is this buffer. <laughs> Yeah, the, those bumper assets are really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I found them. Kanga says, yeah, he does say that, doesn't he? Who? Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> the question is... <clears throat> Doctor, uh, what's his name? No, okay. Uh, yes. Vitya says using pics of a Slovak JLTV as reference, and then Kang says, "Uh oh." I have no idea what a JLTV is, but okay. Isn't it a? Um, hold on. Let me confirm. Yeah, it's like a... An armored military... Truck, uh, okay, basically. Okay, that explains like, like why I don't know thingy. what it is. Basically, imagine like a really big Land Rover that's armored and has got really quite extreme suspension and a turret on the back. What if I don't have imagination? Uh, then I'll link you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my imagination when I was very young. <laughs> Kango and VGR both link the Wikipedia article. Oh, brilliant. And VGR says, Marap. <laughs> oh, I'm Marap. See, I know what that is, somehow. <laughs> Up to you too, says Kango. <laughs> Quite enthusiastically, clearly. Alright. Let's do a sandwich. Because that's the only good option that I have here right now. Tango says, well, yeah, it makes sense to only know the military equipment you're familiar with firsthand. And then says, or oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, they've got some palleted air over there. Get the mature dice. You, sir, are wild. Kanga says, Oh, what's wrong with the number panels? They cast a rectangular shadow? No! Oh, fine now. What? And then. Tango besieges you to save. Besieges me, damn. Imagine getting besieged just so you save. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean... It's my life now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where I got all those ballistas from, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Can go. 
mind uh, explaining. <laughs> I'm sure there is a logical conclusion to um, this assault. <laughs> right? Kanga says, the power of floppy disk compels you. <laughs> Sir, it's not the 1990s anymore. <laughs> I wonder how many people just know the, the save symbol as the save symbol and don't actually know that it, what, what the symbol actually is. Probably a lot. Yeah, but the soft floppy disk is still used as a safe symbol. Yeah, exactly. Although, to be fair, it's the same with the symbols that we use to represent the letters of, of the alphabet. I mean, those symbols do have their own original uh, yes. meanings as well. How, how many people do know the alphabet? No, I meant the the actual original <laughs> meanings of the symbols that are used for the letters. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm just uh, trying to make a joke. Mm. I'm fairly miserably, I know. The HR says, go to Japan because uh, to go to Japan to be compelled by the floppy disks, because they still use floppy disks. I've not heard that before. Germans use floppy disks and fax machines. I mean, fax machines I can still see to be really useful. Um, why? What? What's the benefit of using floppy disks over USB sticks or something like that for portable storage? Size. Yeah, they're much bigger, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, though, and how are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Physical size wise, um, floppy disk is bigger, yes. Yeah. And storage, or available storage size, uh, the USB is bigger. It's very counterintuitive. Yeah. But now I kind of want a floppy disk USD, USB. You mean, <laughs> you mean like a USB stick that has the that basically built into an old floppy disk? Yes. <laughs> but it also has like uh, appropriate space or you know, storage size. Like, so it's not just like megabytes or kilobytes of available storage, but several gigabytes, like the entire floppy disk is just filled with the USB. <laughs> so basically you want a flexible SSD that's exterior is shaped like a floppy disk. Yes. Hmm. Right. Market it. Good. Go. Market <laughs> it. Oh, Kango boy. says they should set right, so Kango says right after VGO's message. They should sell modern USB sticks that just have the shape of a floppy disk. Oh! To <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just brilliant. Me and Kenko are on the same brain wave. Mm. To store, yeah. And VJ says, for real. Yeah. I have currently no reason to disbelieve you. But I also currently have no evidence. That's, like, no, no good evidence. Mm-hmm. And then Kanga says, use de. Wouldn't be any use going there still then if they don't use them anymore, right? It's very counterintuitive. That's what I said above. Nag, he, blag, yeah, um. That's what, what? Kanga says. <laughs> above, nag, he, he, blag, yeah, um. That's what Kanga says. Okay. And then, riding the brainwave to Essen. Countryintuitive. Oh, right. Okay, now, Eagle, what did we learn from last time at this point? <laughs> oh. 
very fucking slowly. We learned that the only safe way to play a transition is to go in and rip out all of the failure code. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't done that already. <laughs> Something tells me I'll have to load these flat cars. Probably the overlay. Wait, what overlay? The industry overlay. Oh, you mean that it's got um, cargo in commodities it? Yes. waiting? Ah. Uh, Kanga really wants you to save. I think he's getting out the siege equipment again. <laughs> it just opens garage, full of ballistas and cannons and whatever. Ballistas and cannons and catapults and... <laughs> Everything uh, your heart desires for your personal defense or offense. Alright. What are those couples. other... What are those other siege engines called? The ones that hurl stuff like over over top? Like not catapults. I mean, they're the ones that hurl, like that go underneath. What are those called? I, um, think, I, I always. I have no idea. Hello. Hello. I have, I have Sorry. No Stop idea. Dancing. Underneath. Yeah. Hold on, I've got to look this up now. <clears throat> not a siege tower, not a battering ram. Trebuchet, there we go, oh. of course. I always forget that one for some reason. Understandable. Right, Kanga says, Hey, you're not gonna start ripping out failure code on the second to last session, are ya? Come on. <laughs> uh, try me? Well, technically it's the third to last session. Um, technically. Like, th throw me a coconut, really. No. Catapults loaded with armored floppy disks. <laughs> <laughs> Armored floppy disks. <laughs> oh, this junction, gosh darn it! No. Yeah, they've got. Yeah, the armored floppy disks. They've got DRM built in. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Just fucking them with. They have DRM built in. Oh my gosh. That's absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> right. Vijay says, Elisa says, Kango. And then Kango says, Ya. Yeah. And then Vijay says, Elisa says, Put the ballista away, Kango. <laughs> and, then Kango <laughs> and then Kango says, but, but it's so red and shiny. Fine. Holsters it. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fucking boomerang. <laughs> you can't just holster a ballista. <laughs> yeah, trebuchet. Is that what it is? Yeah. No, DRM. Bloody ridiculous. What's it gonna do? Activate its DRM on me? Yes. Yeah. The ballista swept. The only thing you can do then is pirate the game. Pirate the ballista! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Just yoink it from the neighboring country. What I are mean... you doing? I'm pirating your ballistas. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the listers were used on naval vessels as well, for a long time. Yeah. 
So they most likely were actually pirated at some point. It's possible. <laughs> You're gonna pirate it, eh? Are ya? Well, pirate this! Fires Ballista, holsters it. That'll teach him. Pirate mm. Valley Railroad. Valley Railroad? Hey, instead of Milton Valley Railroad, it's gonna be Pirate Valley Railroad. Oh, right. <laughs> I thought you were instructing people to pirate a thing called the Valley Railroad. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, how? Okay. Like pirate Valley Railroad. Mhm. Mm sure. You say saucer. Saucer. Why? No. Falling. Uh, okay. It's the falling saucer. Mm hmm. And soon it'll be the breaking saucer. I can hear a steam train, IRL. Huh? Alright. That's fun. Yeah, it's just chuffing away. Choo-choo! Yeah, like that-ish. Saucer Creek Railroad. Oh, that's brilliant. You have to put a uh, UFO Easter egg on that. Push it just slightly more. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna be hoping that I don't need to pick up these cars again. Probably will. But until then, might as well just firstly unload all this other stuff. And then worry about the, in the inevitable pain that I have put myself into. This is the furthest I have gotten so far. Do you want to save? I just did. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't need that car anymore. Bye. Isn't 
Isn't Trains' free camera kind of like a weird system? Like you just like the in most other games where you've got a free cam, you just like you fly the camera around first person. But in trains, where you're actually moving the pivot of the camera and then rotating around that, I mean I know that some other games like uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon Three or, or something like that also have it like that. But isn't oh that a bit God. unusual? Yes. And that's what makes it so fucking good, because I just realized the camera in trains is always third person except for the cab view. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. How come I've never thought of it? How hmm. I guess you're just so used to it that it's like, it's like walking at this point. Yeah. You don't really think about it much. Yeah, exactly. Bread unloader, newspaper unloader, okay. Interesting industry. Kanga says, most other games only have an Alt plus U free cam. Oh yeah, that one, the fly cam. Mm. I mean, the fly cam is really useful. I don't use it especially at all. Well, it's it's really useful for getting screenshots, like mm. from the correct angles. Um, I guess. Or if you want to move something really, really closely, then the walking camera can be really useful to get in really close. Oh yeah, I, I absolutely use the walking camera. That one is very useful. Mm. But I don't. Mm -hmm. oh, there, like, I there's there's the, only I used... one. Time that comes to my mind when I use the fly camera, and that is when I was building catenary on one of the bridges in Century or Mini. Because oh. I, I was having massive trouble aligning it, so I used that camera to see what I was doing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I use it a lot when I take screenshots from the surveyor. Because when you activate it, the 3D compass is disabled, which I, I mean, I've got the 3D compass enabled normally, so that I can see the cardinal directions and the alignment of the grid yeah. for texture work and stuff like that. But if you enable the, the free cam, then that disables, disables the 3D cursor, and so that's useful for screenshots. <gasps> I don't know what I expected here. <laughs> Could have expected this. Are you sure that you can't unload nope. both of them at the same no, time? No, I didn't. It didn't let it further. It, the, it, the the buffer stopped the train. Oh. Hmm. Oh right, yeah, because, <laughs> yeah. When I first made this. I had originally used the, the other cement hoppers, the grey ones, and those are a little bit shorter. That's why I had it in memory, that you could unload both of them at the same time. Yeah. Because that is how it was originally intended. Fair enough. Kang says, another bag of deceit. I should have expected it. <laughs> yeah, I should. I really should have. There's a little hobo warming himself by a fire. Yeah, I saw that as well. You can see the smoke from the fire over here. Mm. Honestly, kind of like was like, huh? Is that tree on fire? No, it's just a homeless guy. Is that beer or is it cola? Where's cola? Nice. Yeah, Willis said that, um, like, yeah. hobos, hobos used to, like, light their barrel fires and things under trees or thick shrubbery so that the smoke 
wouldn't be as easy to see, so they wouldn't be found out as easily. Mm. Although yeah. this one is just for shelter here. The the yeah. other one in by New Penzance Yard, those are there to hide. Alright, let's unload this as well, and then we will see what I need to do more. There's only 40 minutes, so something tells me the last 20 minutes have to be filled with something more. But knowing my rate of progress, I'm maybe, compared to you, only like 30 minutes in. Oh, there's no buffer here. Nope. That's fun. Just an invisible signal. Yep. Alright, yeah. Stop too early. Miscalculated that one. That's okay. The other way, please. Yay! Nice work, Paul. We've got some more trains coming in and going out that need to be sorted, but that's the next cruise problem. Session completed. Huh? Yeah, well done. Really? That, 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 that... Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> nice, whatever. Yeah, orig <laughs> originally, I had the time limit quite a bit shorter. Uh -huh. Like from my play tests, but then um, I think it was Kanga who suggested that people could play this session in a way where it takes them far longer to sort everything out and then bring everything down and all that stuff. And so yeah. I didn't want somebody to start that session with the expectation of it being quite short and then being stuck in it for ages. So I... That's why I bumped the time for the session up quite a bit. Yeah, well, that's uh, fair enough. <laughs> wow. Kango says, congrats, And yeah, that's how <laughs> I played. And I didn't have nearly enough time. 80 minutes. <laughs> mm. Nice. But yeah, that... That, hmm. that was very interesting, to say the least. Let's ignore all the fuck-ups that I've done. I still haven't properly woken up from my little nap. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, do, you have, do you have some cold water nearby? I do, don't worry. I've, been, I've drunk half of it by now. Well, you, um, you could splash some of it on your face to wake up. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. <clears throat> All right, the Craig Liner Express. Let me restart the stream. Sure. And then we'll get to that. <laughs> 